I would like to give the floor to Dr. Shakil Bharti, Secretary of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. Thank you very much and good afternoon. The United Nations has proclaimed May the 22nd as the International Day for Biological Diversity to increase the understanding and awareness of biological diversity issues. And in 1992, the United Nations adopted the Convention on Biological Diversity as the overarching framework instrument uh, to safeguard biological diversity in all sectors. And you have just heard a address from the Executive Secretary of the CBD. The CBD is the sister convention of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. And we in the International Treaty focus in particular on agricultural plant biodiversity. And therefore also uh, the title that we have chosen for today's event, I Have a Seed, since the agricultural biodiversity that we uh, try to conserve and facilitate both the exchange and sustainable use of uh, is the diversity of seeds. Within the FAO uh, coordination and together with the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture, the International Treaty has also actively engaged with the United Nations system-wide process for the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. And we've been especially pleased that in the 2030 agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals, the uh, diversity of seeds has been given particular prominence, especially with uh, targets 15.6 um, of the new SDGs. And uh, as Secretary of the Treaty, uh, I've been working to arrange that the Treaty will contribute through the FAO coordination to the indicators uh, that will in the future provide concrete ways of measuring how uh, agricultural biodiversity and in particular uh, diversity of seeds is being conserved, uh, used and how benefits are also shared. The work of the Treaty contributes to the strategic framework of FAO by uh, focusing on the second objective, which is to increase and improve the provision of goods and services from agriculture uh, in a sustainable manner. And I would like to briefly uh, give you a short overview of six main stages in which the International Treaty responds to the challenge of providing new seeds that uh, can meet the challenges of climate change and increasing population growth. The first is on-farm conservation and management. Uh, here, the Leading the Field initiative of the treaty has been designed as a global initiative to help adapt the crucial genetic diversity that we need to adapt crop production uh, and consequently food production to climate change impact through a series of immediate impact projects which support uh, farmers uh, and other stakeholders in producing and conserving uh, plant genetic diversity. Through this initiative, so far, um, about 10.1 million farmers have been directly or indirectly reached. Um, more than 3,600 new plant varieties have been identified, characterized, and evaluated for their tolerance to climate change stresses, both biotic and abiotic stresses. Second is the ex to conservation and availability of genetic resources. In this area, the Global Crop Diversity Trust is an essential element of the treaty's funding strategy and operates an endowment fund that provides stable financial support to international gene banks uh, and thereby helps to preserve uh, plant genetic diversity. Third is the facilitated exchange of plant genetic resources, uh, which is achieved by the treaty through the multilateral system of access and benefit sharing. Under this system, we have established a global gene pool, which now includes more than 1.7 million samples of plant genetic materials. That means 1.7 million different varieties of seeds uh, that are exchanged under the treaty's uh, multilateral system. 
Today, the system facilitates the transfer of about six to 800 accessions of such genetic material per day worldwide. And uh, we are currently transfer transferring about 480,000 accessions uh, every quarter. The fourth area is the information systems which describe this uh, genetic diversity. The treaty's global information system on plant genetic resources facilitates the exchange of scientific and technical information and environmental data relating to crop diversity that both enable the conservation and the enhanced sustainable use uh, of genetic diversity. This includes uh, genotypic sequencing data as well as phenotypic data and, um, as I mentioned, environmental data. Fifth is the stage of pre-breeding where the a treaty facilitates public-private partnerships uh, through uh, the, for the development of new seeds. And sixth is uh, the stage of new technologies where the treaty is supporting the development of an open platform for co-development and transfer of technology uh, that makes use of plant genetic resources and that enables the production of new uh, seeds and new plant varieties. I would also like to highlight in particular, as we will hear later today, uh, the role of farmers in the conservation of agricultural biodiversity. And uh, today's uh, event will have a focus on Article 9 of the treaty, which is on farmers' rights. And it is particularly opportune that this week there is a working group, I believe, meeting here in Geneva um, that is also discussing related issues. And we will come back to those later in the program. Thank you.